Good morning, Stewart's Chapel. This is Brother Don Pearson and Don Counts. And this is Monday's devotion. We're in Amos chapter 2, verses 4 through 5. Let's read them. Thus says the Lord for... Th I'm sorry, verse 4. I was reading verse 1. Verse 4. Thus says the Lord for three transgressions of Judah and for four, I will not punt, turn away its punishment because they have despised the law of God and have not kept his commandments. Their lies lead them astray, lies which their father, fathers followed. But I will send a fire upon Judah and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem. Well, well Amos has proclaimed God's judgment upon every single one of Israel's neighbors. He's gone from Gentile nations to cousins and from cousins to brothers. Judah comprised the southern kingdom after the division because of David's sin. The kingdom was ripped apart and Judah and Benjamin stayed in the south. Amos is from the south. Amos is declaring a message of judgment to his own people. Now it is true that most of Amos's message of judgment we haven't even begun with and the rest of the book will be devoted to God's judgment upon Israel. But it's interesting about what is the cause of Judah's judgment. They haven't, well, they haven't kept the law of God. They haven't kept His commandments. In other words, and, and that's a long list. I mean, he doesn't go into detail as some of the other prophets will when they pronounce judgment on Judah. He doesn't, he doesn't list all of them. He just says, you haven't done it. You haven't done any of them, basically. And, and he's talking about his own family. Remember what Amos' name meant? One who bears a burden, one who is troubled, one who carries a heavy load. Amos carries a heavy load, not only for Israel, but he carries a heavy load for his own nation. He has to pronounce judgment upon his own nation. Now it is true. The judgment that he produced, that he that he pronounces on the various other kingdoms will come long before it ever reached Judah. God's judgment on Israel will come 40 years after he finishes his message. But Judah, much longer. But it's coming. In fact, God even promises, as you probably have noticed, I will not turn away its punishment. In other words, nothing's going to happen. They might be able to delay it, but punishment's going to come. The other reason why Judah is uh, under God's discipline is not only because they haven't kept God's commandments, but they have followed lies, lies that their father, fathers have, have followed. Now, Amos doesn't tell us what those lies are. Um, But the biblical record reveals that uh, Judah, just like Israel, they believed a lie that because they were God's children, they were untouchable. And because they believed they were untouchable, they did, un they did horrific things. I had a conversation with a pastor today that caught my attention. He was, and, and I think he's right, he was telling me that in these days he's noticed that when he has sinned, God has said to him more than any other time, you know, you know that you're doing this intentional and you are defying me. I found the same thing true for me in these days. I don't know why, I don't know whether it's because of all the stuff that's going on but this pastor went on and said actually a phrase that I have said that this COVID thing, God is sifting his people. Now, there's various thoughts on that. But why the conversation of this one is not just by those who, who when all this is over, have gotten out of the habit of gathering together. No, there's another sifting that's going on. He's allowing us to be tempted. Now, temptation doesn't come from us, but he's not stopping it. What he is doing, though, he's getting in our face and saying, you know that when you do this, you are in intentionally, proactively defying me. 
You see, Judah knew that. Judah's different than all of these others. All of the others, they don't, their, their accountability is not as high. Judah knows. They choose not to keep the word of God. They intentionally do that because they believe a lie. And that lie is they think that they're untouchable. That is a very dangerous lie for anyone who claims to follow God. It's a dangerous lie for me. God's hand is never too short. He can reach wherever He wants to. Love you, Stuart's Chapel.